Light has three properties. We talked about the three properties, the intensity, the brightness of the light. We talked about the color of the light or its spectrum. Well, the third and least known of properties of light, because our eyes aren't sensitive to it, is the a polarization state of light. Turns it's out, angle of travel, essentially. It's the oscillation. If, if light's a wave, like you and I holding a rope and oscillating a rope up and down, it's the plane that the rope is oscillating in. It could be horizontal, it could be vertical, it could be any angle between. It turns out that gravitational waves have a beautiful propensity to turn the polarization of the microwave background in a very particular orientation. And we can, by mapping the orientation of the microwave background and its polarization, we can divine the existence or lack thereof waves of gravity called gravitational radiation. And if detected, that doesn't prove a theory that we can get into called inflation, which is the most popular a cosmogenesis model that we have, but it gives very, very, very strong circumstantial evidence for it. But again, I'm an experimentalist, so what do I do, Jordan? I try to kill other theories. Well, it turns out our good friend Roger Penrose, he has a theory that there should be no polarization of this kind. In other words, my team and I observe this particular polarization configuration, it doesn't prove somebody right. It proves Roger wrong. It proves other colleagues wrong as well that have alternative hypotheses. And what are those alternative hypotheses? Well, they're very fascinating because they do not involve inflation, but they also do not involve a singularity at the origin of time. There is no origin of time. 